You guys were fantastic. It's such an amazing film. And Thank I you. just you know, wanted to throw it out there. How much did you guys know before the filming about Nat Turner and the whole history of this? I didn't know anything about Nat Turner. And so I was surprised and fascinated by this story when I read the script. And, um, and you know, my hope was... First of all, I love historical pieces, and um, and I and I'm always intrigued by hearing a part of history, and and I just personally like being in those kinds of films anyway, um, and I love period pieces and all that. So I'm looking at it from my own you know vanity standpoint or ego or whatever you want to call it, and then I kind of go, wow, oh, oh, this is different. This isn't, and and also I have to say, you know, I like a lot of people thought to myself. You know, after 12 Years of Slave, after other films, like, are people ready for another story? Is this going to be different? Or what's going to be different about this that makes me want to go see it or makes me interested in it? And to me, this was, this wasn't, this was something completely different and new and, and a story that hadn't been told. But I know that there is, the, there's also those preconceived attitudes that people have sometimes of, are we ready for, you know, I know you don't like to call them a film about slavery. However, this is a story about a human being who did something, who stood up for justice, who did something that was unheard of at that time, and I'd never heard of a slave rebellion before at that time in history. Yeah, so. it's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Nate because, you know, here's a guy, he writes, produces, directs, stars. I mean, seriously, is there anything this guy can't do? What was it like to watch him in action on this set? Um, it made you reassess your life goals. <laughs> <laughs> How did this guy have any of this energy? I couldn't believe it. Yeah. He was so prepared. I honestly, I've worked with first time directors before and, and, and they really haven't done their homework. This, this man did his homework and he was, I was very impressed with his knowledge and his preparedness and, um, his shot list and 24-7 and on the weekends working with the DP and the attention to detail from even, even coming into the makeup and hair department and working on my wig with the wig person. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It was, he was hands-on in every aspect and I was kind of blown away. Mm -hmm. what, what do we hope, like, you know, you were saying that, you know, is, do we need another one of these movies? But yeah, you know what? You can't have enough. You just can't have enough of any of these types of films, you know? And I just was wondering, you know, what, what are you hoping that people, audiences, maybe even young audiences will get from a film like this? Uh, what I'm hoping is that parents and students and all over this country will insist that these kinds of, this kind of, these kinds of narratives, historical narratives, are a part of their, the curriculums in their schools because they are, these stories are being, uh, this history is being extricated from American classrooms, from curriculums in American classrooms. And I, I want parents and teachers and students all over this country to say, we ha that can't be. That can't, that can't be to be annoyed and frustrated by the fact that they don't know about it, you know? I mean, it's like you hear about Rosa Parks and you hear about Ruby Bridges, but why didn't we hear about... What's different about that that scares people to want to tell that story? Yeah. And that's, mm -hmm. to me, exactly interesting. And why? And, and so I feel like that that was suppressed, and there's probably a reason for it, but I'm just happy as us as artists that we can tell this story and educate people as well yeah I agree yeah it's great you guys did a really great job and Thank uh, you. pleasure talking to you and Thank best you. of luck with everything Thank you, Thank you so much Thank you.